Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about that things with you, how can verify your email, right? So right now we can verify it. Everything is now perfectly working. So here we don't need this. Uh, that is our verify. That is a Laravel official site. So friend, in this video, I want to discuss about one things with you. Like if you go to our all categories or rather than the all brand, the multiple images, every pages, like here, if you copy it, I copy that link. Okay, so if you want to use access that um, our category all page, so that is our index page, that is our URL, right? But right now, if you click as a logout, so right now I'm logout. So now I know right now, if you actually access this, that means that is actually our category all. And after that, if you click as the enter, now you can see it's not showing some of the error. That means right now we can actually access our this URL and if there have some of the profile photo URL is missing. So for the reasons this URL, that means this message is visible. Okay. So here I want to do, I want to protect it. That means when this user will be logged out, if you want to access that URL, you cannot able to access it. It will be redirected to you to the logging page. So friend here, you don't need to do anything because in Laravel, they have also one of the middleware as a default middleware as a auth. So with this auth middleware, we can actually do that work. Okay. So here we have to do, we have to call it like I show you if you go to your um, middleware that means uh, that is our configuration all that file and then there is our providers that is our middleware and if you go to that middleware and if you go to that our kernel.php into the kernel.php here you can see friend that is also one of the by default laravel middleware as a auth middleware so that is the location in our http that means our app http middleware and the authenticate that means that is actually authenticate is working for this. Okay. That means when this, you can see the when this will be not request, then it will return redirect to the locking page. So right now I want to do, I want to use this. So here I only want to um, add this fun function. So if you want to add it, so that is the, our URL. So if you go to our web route into the web route for the brand, so that is our category. So that is our category index, right? So that is our category controller. So now go to that our category controller if you go so that is our um, http controller and the category controller so into the category controller first of all here i want to do i want to add one of the constructor okay that means constructor is one kind of uh, function that means when this class will be load that means this uh, class will be load automatically our first of all constructor class will be run okay and then our rest of all that method will be activated so here if you want to do that work i show you here you have to do you have to create this function as a public and then function and into the function i want to do i want to make it as a space and double underline as a constructor okay construct and into the construct area here we have to do you have to create it so now sorry so now here i want to do i want to create it so here you have to do, you have to just simply call this. That means that this, and with this, you have to add that middleware. Okay, you have to add this middleware. Which middleware I want to call? I want to call as auth middleware. As I told you, that is one of the default middleware. That means right now when our this class, that means this controller class will be run automatically. First of all, this constructor method will be activated okay and after that our rest of all that method that means the all cat method there is a add cat method all that method will be activated so when it will be checked it that means when this issue with this auth it will be checked this user is uh, logging it or not so when this user will be not logging then automatically it will be redirected to our specific um, logging page okay so that is the our um, functionality added on here you can see it will be redirected redirect to the logging route Okay, that is all of the default route. So here right now I want to do, I want to use it, click as a save all. And now if you, right now I'm not logging, but right now if you want to access this URL, I click as a enter. Now you can see friend, it's now redirected to you to the logging page. I hope it's very much clear to you. And now if you logging, and after that logging, that is our all category is perfect, right? And also if you same, I want to do that work for our brand, that is our another url i copy it go to the logout and if you want to access this url click as enter you can see it's not showing some of the errors so i also want to do the same things for our another controller i have created that is a brand controller right so better i copy it 
I copy this code and now go to our another controller as a brand controller. So into the brand controller, I also want to do and to add it. So first of all, after this, okay, after this, I want to add this constructor and there is a middle layer as an auth middle layer, right friend? So I have already discussed about that things with you, how you can create that middle layer and how that middle layer actually work. Now click as a save all and now if you refresh it, yeah, you can see right now I'm not logging for the reasons it's written to you to the logging page. Okay. So now I think friend, it's very much clear to you. And also there is another one better. Um, there is a contact controller here. I didn't create anything, but I also want to do and to add it in particular that area. Click the save all. Everything is great. So I hope friend it's very much clear to you how can actually protect it URL. So when you log out automatically, it should be returned redirect to the logging page. You cannot actually access all that your route link. So perfect. So that's all for our authentication. So you know, next video, I want to do to update our this admin panel. Okay, that means they have the one of the admin panels. So how can I add some of the template? How can I add some of the template into the font in? So step by step, I will show you everything with a live example. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.